Thank you. First and foremost, we apologize for the delay. I obviously want to make sure that we document this uh, momentous day for each of you and your careers. So with that said, good afternoon or good morning. I'm Chief Wenzel with the Springfield Police Department. I'd like to thank each of you for coming out today. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 restrictions, I ask that everybody please kind of social distance or stay with your family and make sure you're masked up. Uh, while this is not the type of ceremony we like to have, we wanted to do something to recognize what you did today. So today will not be as formal, as lengthy as it has been in the past. Thank you for your cooperation. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize Mayor Langfelder and my senior staff, Assistant Chief Ken Scarlett, Deputy Chief Andy Dodd, Commander Sarah Pickford, and Deputy Chief Josh Dunkel. It is with pride, honor, and excitement for the, the department, as well as the city, that we promote Officer Steve Termine to the rank of Sergeant, and Sergeant Jones and Sergeant Jenkins to the rank of Lieutenant. Each of these positions are essential to the efficiency of our department and providing the appropriate supervision, training, and coaching to our officers. The newly promoted officers will serve as frontline supervisors as well as middle management. Sergeants are frontline supervisors who fill the critical role in the development of our officers. They are not only supervisors, but they are mentors, educators, and role models to our young officers. Lieutenants are staff members who serve as middle management. They are vital in seeing that our mission is carried out in a professional manner. They help develop goals and objectives as well as plans to obtain them while overseeing the watches and the quality of service we provide to our community. Each will be tasked with problem solving and building support and partnerships throughout the community for our mission. The individuals before you today are dedicated individuals who have worked extremely hard and have stepped up throughout the duration of their careers. They have proven themselves as worthy of these additional duties. They are persons of a high moral character, integrity, and lead by example. They are quality officers with various experiences and backgrounds who go above and beyond. It will be a challenge and a transition for them as they continue to rise through the ranks and become the policy and decision makers of the organization while continuing their personal and professional growth. They're not only charged with leading the department into the future, but they are tasked with seeing that our department's vision, goals, and objectives are met. With this opportunity comes great responsibility for the shaping the future of the organization by leading, supervising, training, and mentoring. These are not tasks to be taken lightly and have never been more important than they are today. With that said, I'm confident that each of you are up for the challenge. Again, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for your time coming out today. At this time, I'd like to turn over to Mayor Langfelder for a few comments. Thank you, Chief, and uh, thank you to soon-to-be Sergeant Termine, right? <laughs> Sorry. And then uh, Lieutenant Jones and Lieutenant Jenkins. And we thank you and congratulate you, but also with your family and support that they actually got you to this point in your career. And it's important with the changes that we're facing. You know, we have the pandemic going on, uh, police reform. You need to reflect back when you first joined the police force. And nothing's changed in that realm. It's all about protect and serve the public. And it doesn't matter if you're in the police department, fire department, public works. For the city of Springfield, it's all about that servant leadership. And we have the greatest servant leader as a role model in Abraham Lincoln. And if we all stay true to that role model of government for the people, by the people, uh, I'm sorry, for the people, and by, from the people, for the people, and by the people, it, uh, it all takes care of itself. You know, our day-to-day -day activities, it grows our community to be a stronger economically and socially. And that's what it's all about for the city of Springfield is that true public service to one another. And one thing that is unwavering is our commitment to the police department. I said many times the police department's my favorite department because you do what we all want to do. And that is to have protection and safety for those that we love. And you provide that. You're the first line of defense. They're the first interaction we have with regards to public service, and we can't thank you enough for taking that commitment as you move forward. So as you move forward in this leadership role, you have a great chief and Chief Winslow and his command staff. I can't thank them enough for what they've done, and you'll stand on the shoulders that came before you, but in the future with your mentoring for the young men and women of our police force, they will stand on your shoulders creating that strong foundation for that servant leadership of tomorrow. So we really thank you for this step in time that you're taking to move our police department forward. 
but as importantly, moving our community forward to making it a safe place and a enjoyable place that we all want to live. So I thank you and we thank your family and friends for their support for you. And we appreciate you taking this important step in your life for the city of Springfield. So thank you and congratulations. At this time, AC Scarlett, would you like to come up and say a few words? Well, good morning, everybody. My name is Ken Scarlett. I get the pleasure of serving as the assistant chief here. And uh, just to reiterate some of the words that the mayor and the chief said, I've had the privilege of working with all three of you gentlemen in various roles throughout my career. Um, I respect each and every one of you. I call you my friend, I call you my brother in law enforcement, and um, I just have the utmost confidence in your abilities, whether it be to command a watch, whether it be to supervise the men and women of our agency. Uh, I know you will do this agency proud. I look forward to the future, not only uh, for each of you, but for this agency. And, and uh, as we round the corner on this COVID, uh, I think it is with great supervision and great leadership that we can really make a difference in this community. So. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of your families for, for what you've all accomplished, and uh, it's a great day, so congrats. At this time, we will begin the pinning ceremony. First up will be Sergeant Steve Termine. Steve, you would step forward. Steve is a 25-year veteran who most recently served as an NPO. He is a former canine officer and a past member of ERT. He attended Lincoln Land Community College and is married to his wife, Leslie, and they have two kids, three kids. He will be pinned by his wife, Leslie. Leslie, if you want to come forward, please. Next up, Lieutenant Bob Jones. Bob is a 23-year veteran who has served as a sergeant in both our field operations division and our administrative service division. He is a former NPO, a DUI traffic officer, a field training sergeant, and a field training officer. While serving as a DUI officer, he was recognized by both MAD and AIM as one of the top DUI officers in the state. He was also one of our first DREs. He is a graduate of UIS and served in the United States Air Force. He and his wife, Lori, have one son, Eric. He will be pinned by his son, Eric. Come on forward, Eric. Last but not least, or saving the best for last, as I was told earlier, is Lieutenant Tim Jenkins. Tim is a 12-year veteran of the Springfield Police Department and previously served five years with the Galesburg Police Department. He most recently served as a sergeant and a field training sergeant for the Operations Division. He is a former member of our crisis response team and a DUI traffic officer. While serving as a DUI officer, he was recognized by Madden AIM for his efforts in and in 2013 was the number one DUI officer in the state. 
who was also one of the SPD's first DREs. He and his wife, Megan, have two kids. He will be penned by his father, Jeff, a retired Oak Grove Sergeant and Chief of Public Safety at Wheaton College. If you please come forward, both. Congratulations to the officers and their families. As I stated previously, each of these officers' lives are about to change, but not to be forgotten, so will their families. These promotions will mean new assignments, long hours, and extra duties. This will mean additional sacrifices by their families and loved ones. They will need each and every one of your support during this transition. In closing, as A.C. Scarlett said, consider all three of these guys known to you and I wind down my career, you know, Tim, with only 12 years on, you had a long ways to go. Your future is very bright. Bob, I think that's 23, 24 years on now. Where you guys sit there, you know, what's your return? How long do you decide to stay? Was that 30 or more? Let's just do the best. Steve, I have to see this contract that you signed on that when you signed, because so you know you got to stick around for at least one more. But with that said, you know, uh, it's an honor to be able to promote you through this area. In closing, uh, I would ask that everybody can come up and congratulate. Let us get a few pictures first. But when you come up, come up as a family or as your pod, whatever you all want to call yourselves, and we'll do it that way. Uh, we'll get some pictures of them all three together, then we'll separate them out, and then we'll let you guys unmask while you take pictures with your family. All right? Thank you. We'll make sure Em gives you guys a copy of all the pictures.